Hi guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I'm having meetings today, so on a quick lunch break, I ran out of the Walmart and got me a plate. So if you can see it here, I'm out here in the sun, so the lighting may not be. But I got mashed potatoes and gravy. Chicken, I got three of the regular and three of what I think these are hot. And I got some greens. This is not a bad plate for $4.48. But do you just green juice is a darn mess on here. Ugh. She, she didn't drain it. They need a... Sorry about that, guys. They need a slotted spoon. Anyway, and I got the um, raspberry. If I can turn it around the right way. Raspberry lemonade for the drink. Oh, try to eat real quick and go back into this darn meeting. I'm out here in the parking lot. Mm. Oh, that's good. Anyway. Oh, Y'all, I didn't sleep good last night. I've been dragging tired all day. And of course you're tired. Mashed potatoes and gravy. And you got to sit up in a meeting. Oh, it's just hard to keep yourself awake. Mmm. Oh, it's good, but it needs some hot sauce. These greens. Mmm, I'm making a mess. Anyway, but yeah, I, um, had a pretty good weekend. My daughter and I, we went to brunch yesterday. Enjoyed it. And then we went to just look at cars. She, she's thinking she's going to have another car. But if I was her, I wouldn't get one. You know, she said I chose her car. She was going to college in Atlanta, so... I had gotten her Nissan Altima before her sophomore year. And she said I chose that and it was a white car and she don't like white. She didn't want a white car. And so she wants to think she wants to choose her own. So I think when that guy started talking about the notes in four years and all of that, <clears throat> I think she might have changed her mind. But I must admit, ironically though, the car she chose was the same car I got her, which is a Nissan Altima, but she was looking at a smoke gray one and a black one. And she wants the, the leather interior. Because she don't keep her car clean for one thing. And I guess she thought she could wipe down the leather seat. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This chicken is okay. I didn't watch the Oscars last night. My coworker came over to tell me about it and um, was saying that they messed up at the end. You would think that these award shows would have this stuff down pat. Mm -hmm. Announcing the wrong, wrong winner. But he was telling me about two things on the Oscars. Did any of y'all watch the Oscars? He was telling me about two things on the Oscars. And I did go out and see Justin Timberlake's performance on YouTube. And it was good. And he said something about like it was another nice scene like when people do those tours. They actually let them tour at the Oscars. So I'm going to see if I can't find that YouTube portion of that. I could imagine going on something like that and all of a sudden you stop and you're at the Oscars. Man, that would be good. 
These mashed potatoes and gravy are real good. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I drove for Lyft this weekend. And a lot of my passengers, I didn't do Uber, I just did Lyft. A lot of my passengers were going to see that movie, Get Out. And I see it got wave reviews. I was saying I wanted to go see that, so I'm definitely going to go see it now. But, I got two movies this weekend. My brother got me a fire stick for Christmas, so I caught, um, Keep It Up With The Joneses or The Joneses something movie like that. It was pretty good. It was about these, the Joneses were the neighbors and they were actually spies. And it was a regular suburbia couple. It was pretty good. And I saw the, uh, went, ran at the woman on, on the train off the red box. The movie was actually good, but it's a slow kind of, draggy kind of movie. So if you don't get it from the start, you may not, I know that might not be a movie. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me, you want to see. I don't know. It's so nice out here today. It was cool, sir. Well, anyway, getting back to this car thing, y'all. We went to CarMax. And I really like CarMax. In fact, the last three cars I've purchased, well... Three. Last three out of the four cars I purchased because I got one my truck from City Auto when I had a truck. I have been from CarMax. But I you would have thought they was giving away cars yesterday. That car lot was crowded and my daughter had to remind me it was tax season. I'm like, hell, I wish I would get some taxes back. I've been on one every year for the last few years. And that's partly my fault because I don't take claim. When she was in school, I really wasn't claiming enough deductions. So hopefully next year, with me claiming single and zero, I won't owe them. Because I really don't care if I don't get a dime back. I frankly just don't want to owe. And since I owe, which I've already mocked up my taxes, I haven't done them completely, but... Since I owe, you know what day I'm going to file? The last day I can. Because <sighs> guess what? They're going get, to get their money. She didn't give me enough gravy. But these potatoes are really good. Hmm. I like the real potatoes. You know, they don't taste like box potatoes is what I'm saying. Hmm. They're good. Anyway, I didn't cook yesterday. Like I said, we went to the brunch. And I had some leftovers from Saturday night. When I got through driving, it was almost 11 and I hadn't eaten. Since up in the morning hours on Saturday, I came home and fixed a DiGiorno pizza. And I ate that for my dinner yesterday. The rest of it. Um, and I didn't um, take out Jack to cook tonight. I said, one thing, I'm tired. I'm going to go home and go to bed. If I eat something else tonight, it's going to be some poor man chicken noodle soup. You know how you boil a couple of pieces of chicken tenders or something and then throw some Roman noodles over in it. Mm. And some peas and carrots or something. So, if you don't want to make some, you take you a couple of pieces of, uh, like I said, chicken breast tenders. 
and they don't have to vent out. You boil those, and you can put you a little dice onions, and I keep some dice onions in the freezer. And boil that, and then throw you down some a few little frozen peas and carrots. And when the chicken get done, kind of dice it up. And you should have enough liquid in there. Throw your um, ramen noodles in there. And that seasoning packet. Man. You done done something. You done chefed it up, baby. That's a real that's some real good chicken noodle soup though. Quick. What I call semi homemade. You know, I used to love that show. Speaking of semi homemade, I used to love that show on the Food Network. It was Sandra D. Rock. She got cancer and battled cancer, but she, uh, and I still, that's what stopped the show. But she, um, she, um, that was a good show. I was hoping she would come back and do something on Food Network afterwards, but she didn't. Hmm. Y'all, you know what I might do? I'm probably going to be that hungry. If anybody got a mold near them, the day is $5 a day. But read on Mondays. And you can get the burrito or the bowl. I prefer the bowl. And you know, they give you little chips. And you can get some salsa. That's a good little meal for $5. I'm actually getting full. These potatoes are delicious, though. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'll be glad when this project is done because I'm tired of these meetings. I can tell you that right now. Like when you get just get started on the project, it just meet, 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 meet. Who <coughs> 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 that went down the wrong way there? Go out to lunch. I'm like, you know, I give myself a twenty dollar budget, man, for a week. We got some more meetings this week, and they tell me I'm like, they want to go out. I'm like, I'm not ready. Let's go to Red Lobster. I'm, I'm trying to spend my twenty dollars the first day. Y'all go on. It ain't that serious to me. Hmm. I can eat somewhere cheap. It's a decent meal. This little Walmart meal decent. There's plenty of it. It's filling. I got me an orange filet on. This afternoon if I get on hungry for a snack. They got snacks there, but it's a bunch of candy. That mess. Supposed to eat on cookies and stuff. Water and drinks. I drank a bottle of water earlier. But I don't want no sweet stuff. So anyway. Well, guys. I don't know. That was a pretty good lunch. Decent lunch. For four forty-eight, clean this up. You see, it was only four dollars and forty-eight cents. I don't know, y'all can see that that wasn't bad at all. And I think with the drink, how much was the drink? 
The drink was 96 cents, so all together it wasn't but $5.92. I don't know if y'all could Ooh, see that or not. That ain't bad. <coughs> if I would have had enough water, I still had a little water left on the meeting, but it wasn't enough. Like I said, this raspberry tea. Oh, this, I don't say raspberry tea several times. Just lying. Sorry, y'all. That's raspberry lemonade. Anyway, oh. I hope you all are having a great Monday so far and started out your week and doing well. Whew. I want you to have a wonderful and blessed day and a joyful week. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And remember, please share your smile with someone today. Help uplift their day. Offer someone.